What's up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I am back for another video and if you can tell by the title down below, it is my July favorite. The year is almost up. We have about 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 more months until the year ends. Oh my gosh, and the summer is almost over. I think the summer is over in September and next week is technically or about time this goes up this week or next week whatever it will be august this one is another short and simple one your girl i did buy some makeup but i haven't been playing in it which i have a small little makeup um addiction i buy makeup thinking i need it because just recently today i'm thinking oh i can go in at the absolute store and buy a blush um, I already did. I think I bought two blushes from the Absolute store here in New York City. So um, that's the extent to my makeup addiction. I am buying makeup, not even remembering that I bought, not even remember that I'm buying makeup. The one thing that I do need to buy is some new clothes um, because I would like to be a little fashionista when uh, Jen Beauty New York City comes in October. So I want to be a little bit more fashionable to I'm burping here, but I want to be a little bit more fashionable when I do go to Gym Beauty in October here in New York City And I want to be more presentable when I introduce myself to brands. So yeah, that is it short sweet simple Um, I went to the absolute store a little fun thing to do The one thing I didn't like was the constant you need help. Do you need help? Hi, do you need help? Hi, do you need help? No, I do not need help if I needed help I will ask you if I need help right now. I want to browse. I want to look i want to take it all in this is the very first absolute store here in new york city and i just want to take it all in stop asking me if i need help good grief yeah that's that's the only downside about that one and i went to the charlotte russo russo store i don't know that's how you pronounce it um charlotte russo um that uh, that opened here right next door um to the absolute store in the city but other than that i bought a couple of things and then the main event the main favorite here in july was curl fest that is right your girl went to her very first natural hair festival um here in brooklyn and i had a blast i got there early i got in i made my rounds i didn't actually network like i wanted to because it was so after a certain time it opened up at 12 and around 1 to 1 30 it started to get ridiculously crowded thank god i left around 2 30 because if i didn't i would have been really really frustrated because i hate large crowds i hate to be in large crowds i really do because they don't know how to walk they don't know how to move they just just they just stand there and that is why i don't go to a lot of festivals or a lot of concerts or anything because it sucks but this one was an experience it was an experience that i that i needed to have in order to commune more with my people and to see all of these different natural hair types to see all these beautiful melanin people men women children um they had a clothing section where there was vendors th that were selling their clothes a little bit pricey 20 dollars for a headband i didn't have cash i only had my debit card but i did buy i'll show you what i bought all right i put it in a bath and body works bag because i wanted to condense my stuff but the, the i bought i only bought things at two booths um the Eden's body work booth um and the Shea Moisture men's booth which I got that for my brother he will show it on his channel if he wants to I don't think so because he is a kind of like a gaming channel but the three things that I bought is from Eden Body Works they were at BeautyCon so the first thing is the hair tonic liquid vitamins there it go the next thing i bought was the eden's body work jehovah jehovah moni natural deep conditioner it looks like that so that's right there and the thing all right i'm back i learned how to change my batteries in my camera right hella quick but before i had to leave off the thing that i wanted to mainly get was the blow dry cream um the hibiscus honey line and it is right there let's see if it'll focus in on it it keeps focusing on me yeah there we go 
this blow dry cream i saw the brand in beautycon months ago and this the girl that was working there she had this her hair was laid like you can't tell me nothing i thought she had chemicals in her hair nope all she did was wash her hair use this with the blow dryer and flat ironed it and it was like she was her hair was like no offense was moving like a white girl no again no offense but her hair was nice silky smooth i loved it and i been thinking about it ever since beautycon and i was i was like kicking myself that i didn't get it when i did so when i had i kept looking online i wanted to buy it in stores but it's only this line it's only the hibiscus honey line is only sold in walmart and there is no walmart by me the closest walmart to me the only walmart to me is in green acres mall and that is in the queen's staten island border no queens long island border and i am nowhere near any of that so and i'm not buying it online i hate buying a lot of stuff certain things online so i wasn't going to do that so i just opted to wait until i see them again at a convention or whatever and lo and behold they were at the curl fest um festival and i was like yes and at and at festivals and conventions there's always a sale and for these three products it was three for 20 so i got the deal that's like i don't even know how much <laughs> that's like seven eight dollars each or something whatever but i got my blow dry cream another deep conditioner you can never have too many you can never have too much deep conditioner and i got some hair vitamins that i think i should use better on clean hair and yeah i got my i got a little style done from this company let me get the name let me get it right they are an instagram it's called natural brazil something or brazil natural i put the i'll put the picture right here they did they were doing styling for for your hair and i found out that i have a tight curl pattern which is not a 4c i am probably i thought i was a 4c because i have like the thickest like once you comb it break comb types of hair turns to find out that i am kind of like i'm probably a 4a or a probably a 4a or a 4c but i have a tight curl pattern i don't have a z pattern and i kind of like my tight curls they're towards the end but like the the, the hair by my roots are kind of straight so yeah that is everything mm -hmm. and once i did everything i had to do and i made my rounds it started to get hella crowded and i couldn't deal so so I just decided to leave. Thank goodness I did because as I was leaving, the line to get in if you bought your ticket was ridiculous. Like it was almost out of the park. That's how long the lines were. So with all that being said, the only thing that really was a favorite was Curl Fest. Even though there were some hits and there were some misses, I might go back again next year and hopefully somebody will come with me so I won't go by myself. Um, but yeah, that is it. So, I'm going to leave all that right there, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. It is right over there. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you can be notified when your girl uploads videos, and make sure to thumbs up this video because you want to see more videos here from your girl. I'm going to leave some other videos for you to watch right here, so make sure you click that. Make sure you click those videos, and like always, guys, be blessed, be safe, and have a good day, night, weekend, weekday, whenever you are watching this here. Later, guys.